Hey guys, happy Friday. I can't believe it's already Friday because I'm trying to get a hang of this whole vlogging thing and I've been meaning to vlog my week. So I have kind of taken video shots of things here and there, but I realized I haven't really talked to you guys at all. So it's already Friday. Um, and what I have going on today is I have a podcast interview with a autoimmune um, specialist. She is somebody who developed a line of flowers that you can use for AIP cooking and baking and stuff like that. So I'm really excited about that. Um, and then what else? And then I leave for Toronto tomorrow night. So I just have to finish packing and getting everything ready before I go. And I will definitely do a sit down and talk to you guys about PRP, PRF, exosomes. They're non-surgical hair loss treatments that you can do that will help um, with regrowth. So I'm definitely going to get into that in a bit, but I, um, yeah, I will get better at this vlogging thing. I promise. Vivi is just waiting for me to let her out onto the balcony. She just loves sitting on the balcony. I mean, it's beautiful out there and stuff like that, but she just like, that's her thing. Just sit out on the balcony, look at all the birds and all the leaves and trees and everything like that. She's so cute. She just turned two yesterday. So I remembered what I wanted to show you guys. So I sent a few products um, for helping with gray hairs. You might have seen them on the market. One's called Array Gray. Um, and then the other one is, here, let me show you guys. So this one is by Array. Um, you've probably seen their ads or like their um, Instagram posts and stuff like that. Array Gray. So they have the capsules. They have um, the serum as well. They have a shampoo conditioner that helps with graying as well. But you basically use this and it's supposed to delay the aging or the graying process of your hair. And it also, I think it does help repigment hairs that have gone gray, but it depends on like what level of gray you're at. So I was sent this and then I was also sent the same sort of idea from Vegamore. They have their Grow Ageless. So they have a supplement and then they have a serum as well. And then they have shampoo and conditioner on their website and stuff that you can check out. So what I'm going to do is I've already started using this. I was sent this first. So I'm going to um, try this for like maybe two, three months and see how it goes. And then I will switch to this and kind of compare the two and see what I like better. And I will keep you guys updated on the progress and the results. So I just dyed my roots. So you can't really see the grays right now. Um, but I only have like graying like right. It's in here and on the side over here. The rest of my head, for some reason, it doesn't really gray much on this side. And then at the back of my head is not... I don't really have a lot of gray hair that's there, so it seems to be pretty fine. Sorry, I feel like I was like so zoomed in on you guys. <laughs> I will get the hang of this vlogging thing. But yeah, so I will let you guys know how it goes. You can kind of see like where I've dyed it, like that the hair is a little bit lighter. Those actual strands are lighter because it picks up the dye, um, which is like lighter than my own hair. So if it was like a black, it wouldn't be, you wouldn't be able to notice the grays at all, but because it's a little bit lighter, you can see it looks more like highlights where the gray hairs are, if that makes any sense. But I will take some like before and after pictures for you guys and let you guys know how it goes. So I just recorded a podcast interview. Now I'm ready to sit down and talk to you guys about the difference between PRP, PRF, and exosomes. So they're basically non-surgical hair loss treatments that you can opt for. Um, like I always say, these kinds of things are like the icing on the cake and the cake is really all of the other things that you're doing to heal your body so that you can support hair growth. All of the things that I talk about in the Hair Growth Intensive Online course, that carries you through the step-by-step -step method for regrowth and that's like the base. And then these kinds of things can really assist in promoting and boosting the other things that you're doing to regrow your hair. So let's start off by talking about PRP. So what PRP is, it's platelet rich plasma and what they're doing in that um, treatment is the doctor is going to extract your blood from your body so it uses your own blood so what that's going to do when you put it in the centrifuge is it's going to spin it around super super quickly and then it's going to help you extract 
like it's going to divide that into separate layers and you'll be able to extract the platelet rich plasma from your own blood. And that's important because inside that platelet rich plasma are hair growth factors. And that's what your doctor is then going to take those hair growth factors and inject it into your scalp, which is going to promote and accelerate hair growth. Now you're gonna to have to do multiple sessions with this to be able to see results. It really varies from person to person. You'll only know once you start doing it, how many sessions you'll actually need. Okay, let's talk about PRF now. So what that stands for is platelet-rich fibrin. So it's very similar to platelet-rich plasma or PRP, but in this case, you're not using the plasma, but you're using the fibrinogens. So we know that with PRP, it's platelet-rich plasma. In PRF, it's platelet-rich fibrin or fibrinogen. So you're doing the same thing in PRP where you're extracting blood and then you're putting it into the vial and you are putting into the centrifuge and you're spinning it around to separate the layers. But in the case of PRF, it's kind of like a supercharged version of PRP. So in PRF, the centrifuge is actually spinning at a slower speed than PRP. So it's not separating things completely. So that way, what you're getting at the end of the process is fibrinogens, stem cells, as well as white blood cells. Now, because of this, you're having a lot more healing elements and healing properties in that serum that is going to then be injected into your scalp. So you're giving a bigger boost to the regeneration process than you would if you were just using PRP. Okay, finally, we're gonna talk about exosomes. So exosomes are a little bit different than PRP and PRX. <laughs> Yeah, Vivi's just walking around in the background. So exosomes, how that differs from PRP is that it's not using your own blood, but it's actually a serum that is created in a lab that contains growth factors, messenger RNA, microRNA, and cytokines. And so that resulting serum contains a higher level of growth factors than PRP, um, which can be more favorable for certain individuals. Another thing that they say about exosomes, is because they're produced in the lab, they don't contain some of the unnecessary things that you don't want when you are actually creating PRP. Like there could be some debris inside of the plasma. So in that way, your body will not have to clear out that unnecessary debris. So three very different, really good options to choose from, PRP, PRF, or exosomes. You really wanna do your research when it comes to choosing a doctor to perform. I don't know if you necessarily need to be a doctor or if um, some nurses can do it too. It really depends on where you're located. And then costs for these will also vary from service to service as well as where you're located in the world. I personally have not tried any of these things. If you have, please let us know in the comments which one you've tried and whether it's worked or not for you. So this is one of my purchases from Amazon Prime Day. I got a shoe rack for our closet because our closet is a giant mess. So we're gonna put it together and get the shoes on there. I was not joking. Like all of our shoes are just like here and in like these boxes under all the clothes. Yeah, they're just like everywhere. And here is the after. So nicely organized. Mm -hmm.